Uh, the mission here of the family is to inspire the church, yes. to engage government, not for a political party or a candidate, for, but for the advancement of God's kingdom and for the strengthening of family. Yeah. What can we do to make this country where the best days are ahead of us again yes. and not just rely on hire the right pastor for the church, <laughs> hire the right president yes. for the country? Yes. Well, I think you're doing it every day, frankly. I think, Bob, thank you for your leadership on such an important issue and a really important time in our country. The issue is making sure that we have the strongest family unit ever. And as a kid that comes from a broken marriage, a broken family, piecing those together is quite difficult. Sometimes they say an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Keep doing what you're doing uh, and, and encourage more partners to join you as well. Proverbs 27, 17 reminds me that as iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens the other. I think that works as well for groups as well. Having more groups that are sharpening each other, whether it's Heritage or SBA or other partners that you have back here, it's really important that we expand that footprint and we start touching more people. I've said this before and I'll, I'll keep saying it. It's not the most popular thing you'll hear from a politician, but... We do not have the answers to all the problems that people face. Mm. The gospel does. Yeah. Amen. But we don't. Amen. Yeah. We, 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 we're not in it. I'll say this, Bob. Yep. They say uh, the darndest things. But they say D.C. is Hollywood for ugly people. <laughs> I'm not sure what that says about me, but I think a different way of saying that is that perhaps all the answers have never really resided never. in our nation's capital. We are to have the smaller, less intrusive government for the purpose of setting the people free from their government. Create the rules of the road, take a step back and trust the American people. Mm. Well said, very well said. Uh, 